e-scooter guy here. As promised, guys, is a quick video on how to go into the settings on the E2 Sport Plus, also the other models such as the GT. So what we need to do is hold the brake down on the left-hand side and press the power button, okay? Now, what this will give you is an L number or a level number. So there's five levels on the scooter. So level one is a six kilometer per hour speed limit. Level two is a 12. Level three will limit you to 20. Level four will limit you to 25 kilometers per hour, which is 15 and a half miles per hour, which is likely to be the legal limit once scooters are legalized in the UK. But you also have level five. Now that's a 30 kilometer per hour limit but it doesn't really have a limit, guys. So if you're going downhill on this, you will break 30 kilometers per hour. So 35 kilometers per hour, sorry, 30 kilometers per hour is around about 18 miles an hour, um, but you will break it over that if you're lighter or if you're going downhill, which is why they do quote a 22 mile an hour speed limit for these models, because it is possible but don't expect that on a, f a flat and definitely not uphill, especially if you're a heavier rider. So in terms of changing the levels, okay, we've literally just pressed the light button and it will scroll through the different levels. Okay, once you've got the one you want, press the S button, which is the second one from the right there. And that says set on the screen and you now set. You then let go, okay, and that then gives you your settings all done and dusted. Now the other thing you can do is go into the P settings. So the way you do that is again hold the brake down, hold power and it goes into the P settings. So bear in mind I've got the brake held down throughout this. Okay so P1 now that is your zero start whether it's on or off. So in other words you can decide whether you want the scooter motor to activate just by pressing the accelerator lever on the right, or you can have it set so that you have to kick off the scooter like a traditional kick scooter before the motor activates. So you have to get it up to, I think it's two or three miles an hour-ish for it to activate. So I've actually got mine on, which means I have to push off. So it's a little bit safer, possibly might change it, once I'm a bit more used to riding electric scooters. So that's a really nice option there for people. So P2, okay, that's off at the moment. Now that's the cruise control. So if you stick to the same speed on the scooter for 10 seconds and cruise control is activated and this menu is on, it will stick to that speed without you having to hold the accelerator down. So if you are going for a slightly longer journey, and you've got a nice stretch of, of open route in front of you, then that's a really nice feature to have. I'm doing really short journeys on mine mostly down to the shops. So I just have mine off because I, I don't really need it. I don't get a tired thumb or anything from holding the accelerator down too long because it is a short journey. Now P3 is actually, if I can press the button here, is actually the regenerative braking on or off. So you have the ability to decide whether it's going to um, use its regen brake and give you some energy back into the battery or not. So again, once you've decided on on or off for that one, okay, you just press the set button. So I've already got mine on there and then you just let go. Okay. And it actually turns off in that mode. Okay. Now I did run through on my review the display, but I'm going to just do it again, just as a bit of a reminder. So really nice color display on the E2 models. We've got battery percentage and a visualization here. We've got speed, so in kilometers of power at the moment, just letting you know the, the sort of ambient temperature. And we've got ODO or, or odometer here, showing you that I've done 73.1 kilometers. If you press the S button, on the console down here, it changes it to trip and it shows you how much distance you did in kilometers the last journey that you did, which is really great. So that's all the settings on this, guys. Hope you found that useful. 
Um, if you've got this model or you're thinking of getting this model or this kind of brand of scooter. So hopefully really informative for you and will help you get the best out of your scooter for your needs. If you like the video, please click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do please subscribe.